it's uh, it's Monday. I'm back home. This is uh, I don't know. It's the day I catch up on day job stuff and get to jump on the week, pay some bills, book a couple of shows if possible. Uh, Play a little guitar, recharge the batteries a little bit as well. If you watched the last video, this is a 1977 Takamini F340S. Uh, it turns 40 years old this month. This is June of 2017 when I'm recording this. According to the serial number, the first two numbers are the year. The second set of two numbers is the month, and then the last four numbers of the serial number are the production run of that month. So this is 77061536. So that means they made 1536 guitars in the month of June of 1977. Uh, I just got done installing new frets uh, because the frets on this thing were just toast. And I've been chasing down some various setup gremlins and things uh, since then. This is the first fret job I've ever done and it was kind of daunting, but... Guitar rings a lot truer now. I think this plastic saddle is going to go next. Uh, but one thing at a time. Uh, didn't do the best job I've ever seen on a fret job, but it turned out pretty decent. You know, I can't imagine why Martin was upset at these folks back in the day. Uh, you know, this is a solid spruce top, and it's uh, it's a dandy. It's got a couple of cracks or something that's happened to it. They seem to be stabilized and okay. Um, the bronze bridge pins, uh, I don't know, they had a little bit more mid-range and cut, I think. Um, I've got it strung up with Martin Retro, uh, Tony Rice signature strings. These just went on about an hour ago, so it's, it's nice and bright. That's what I'm up to today. Well, it's show and tell time. I thought I would bring out, if you watched my last video, you would see the box that I had on the side of the stage. This is a 1950s slide projectionist box. And in it, I'm keeping all the tools of a troubadour's trade. I've got harmonicas in the top drawer. And down below, I've got tuners, picks, a multi-tool screwdriver. In the bottom drawer, I've got nail clippers. Uh, got a pocket knife because you never know when you're going to need a good sharp blade. Spare bridge pins. Of course, my brass slide. More picks. Stuff's getting added. Stuff's getting subtracted all the time. But you know, as a musician, I have that kind of essential set of tools that I always need every night. And they always kind of end up in the guitar cases, but sometimes I've grabbed the wrong guitar right before the gig or on a whim I'd switch gear. And this way everything's just in one box and I just carry the box and it's got everything. It's been pretty cool to have. So I picked this up in northern Indiana when I was up in the Chicagoland area. 
Um, it's just now gotten a chance to be featured in a video. So I thought that was kind of a cool piece of show and tell. So if you don't have something like this, you should definitely get one. Sounding guitar. <laughs> 